All right, this is alumaloy. Um, some kind of aluminum alloy. I don't know, I tried to look up what the composition was. I have no idea, but basically you use it as solder. I am welding, this is called a bung that I'm welding on some intake piping. That's not really important. What's important is both they're both aluminum and I've scuffed up both of the surface areas where they're gonna be mating. You're, you're supposed to scuff it up. I don't know if that's so it's clean or if just if it if it works as solder then I, I don't know, but as far as I know, this doesn't have flux in it as solder would. But you're basically heating up the pipe, and the, or you're heating up the aluminum, whatever the two pieces are that you're, you're sticking together. And you're melting this. If you have experienced soldering, then this is easy. But if you don't have experienced soldering, then you're basically heating up this, and you're pushing this on it. Because if you heat this up, it's just going to drip on the area and, and run off. So... This is just a propane kit. Um, you can get it at Home Depot. But I just have it sitting on the... This pipe gets really hot, so you don't want to hold it with anything. And I'm assuming these rods are going to get really hot too. But you can get this stuff on eBay. Metal to metal. Metal to metal. You want to be careful if you have the uh, the propane going too long on the aluminum, it will start to melt the aluminum. But this stuff has a high tinsel strength. It's going to be used on a turbocharged car. No. But anyway, basically that's it. I'm just going to go all the way around and. Uh, so it's because it's on a curved area, it's kind of starting to run. What I've noticed in using it, it works better on a flat surface, but, um, and obviously whatever you're, you're melting, um, whatever you're putting the aluminum on, um, the alumaloy on, you'll want it to be uh, clamped down or something like that. Alright, so um, it's been about 10 minutes. It's still pretty hot. I mean, I think the metal gets to around uh, around 1,000 degrees. Um, but I think it wasn't sticking right at first because there's just two different grades of, it might be two different grades of aluminum, and it was sticking to one better than the other one, or maybe um, since this pipe is kind of allows air to flow through it, it might be dissipating more heat, so it's allowing it to cool off more. I, I don't know, it's just speculating. But now it's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I can hit it pretty hard and it doesn't come off. I'll actually, I'll actually have to test it and make sure it's airtight. Um, so I'll look over it really good. But I mean, this is it on a round surface. So these sides actually look worse because it kind of starts to run while you're trying to push it on. And uh, this side actually is better um, here and there. But it's still it's still pretty hot. It's too hot to, to touch it and grab it. And it has been about 10 minutes that it's just sitting at cool. So I mean, it, it, gets, it gets really hot. But it is. Uh, it's a very quick way. I mean, this this was four bucks. This was, I think, like eighteen, and I even bought it online for cheaper. I think you can buy the kits for like thirty bucks altogether, and it comes with uh, comes with everything except for the alumaloy. The alumaloy you'd have to order online. Um, this is still this is pretty cool. Like cool temperature wise, it's not hot. Um, but yeah, it's just I don't know some kind of aluminum, some kind of a uh, aluminum alloy that melts at a lower temperature but that's it I mean it's a great way to adhere aluminum to aluminum people have done radiator repairs um, all kinds of stuff and it's less than the cost of what you would pay a welder to do this stuff it's definitely worth it if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me so anyway thanks for watching and subscribe